Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another Minecraft server admin tutorial. Uh, otherwise known as Bucket Book plug-in tutorials so if you're joining me for the first time feel free to hit that subscribe button because i do these every week if you have a suggestion of one you'd like me to, to do feel free to comment that below i read those but please do a quick search on my channel i've done like 80 of these or so i don't even know so many so anyway this week is brought to you by laughable vines also i did kind of see it and wanted to play with it so that's why it kind of jumped to the top of the list here because i'm using it on the fan server which you are looking at right now this is my fan server and i'm using these holograms all over the place because you know what they just look better than signs they look i don't know like a lot cooler they have a lot more options you got colors you got variables you got um these these little you got a bunch of different symbols which i'll show you guys here in a moment we're going to do like a quick a basic setup advanced setup variables and then um what the author calls animations otherwise known as scrolling text you can set up like scrolling text set it's it's already nighttime. that's how long it took me to get set up for this so as you can see i got these all over um they're actually it's really easy to set up so we're going to fly over here i got a quick little example here so this is actually reading from the text and these are all the the um block and characters that you have options for so basically you would take all of any one of these put um you know your brackets around it so the block will be the x i'll show you guys that in a moment as we do a quick basic setup and i also just want to give a quick shout out philo ghost is the one who made this plugin and it's really it's really neat i i'm not gonna lie it's really cool everybody asks about it when they hop on the server so Anyway, what we want to do, you got a bunch of, um, it's called holographic displays. You got a bunch of commands here, and the short version is HD. So we're going to do HD create. Um, actually, we first thing you want to do is stand where you want this to be. So we're just going to put it over here. Uh, HD create tutorial. There we go. And then, uh, then you start with your text. So we're just going to put a quick color in there. I think this is the blue. So this is a test. That's all we're going to do. And it's going to create the hologram there. So that's really cool. You have a bunch of options with it. First of all, you can move it now to wherever you want. you got the tutorial name. You can do HD move here uh, tutorial. And then it's going to move it to wherever you are standing. You can also edit it. You do HD edit tutorial now you have a bunch of options you can do hd add line tutorial second verse same as the first right so now that's going to give it another line and obviously we didn't put a color in there as well you can then uh, set the lines if you want to reset the first line all that stuff you, then you can also do the read text and read image which we're going to go over in a second so let's go ahead and delete that uh, tutorial and there it goes so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little bit of an advanced setup so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna read from a, a text so we're gonna do HD create time shout out to Alex he doesn't even know so what you do is if you create one without any text in it after that oh he's he's like ah oh, whatever he's not saying hi all right then we do edit time the one that we created so now we are editing this one right here. So what we want to do is HD read text time and then file with extension. So this this is a really well-made plugin. There's a lot of options. Like it tells you what you can do if you hover over everything. It's really, really neat. So what we want to do is read text and then uh, we have a text. I'll show you guys that in a moment. Test. Oh, sorry. Right. I called it something else. There we go and i gotta edit that update a text file actually um now you just gotta you gotta re redo this so now it's gonna list all of this so it gives you the current time of of the server which um i'm assuming then it's on the pacific coast it looks like it's two hours behind me and then players online these are all variables you can do so the time is I'll send. A, I'll put a link to the variables specifically in the jibbles below. Um, there's a bunch of them. There's like player and online and max players. It also works with Bungie Cord where you can do online and then the server name. So it's going to tell you the number of online 
people with a server and you can do online all across all of your servers and then time is just this bracket thing with time and then player now the player one this is going to say the name of the player but it requires proto lib protocol lib plugin which there's quite a few plugins that require that one but i'll also show you those as we get into the config of it the last the last one let's go ahead and remove that so hd delete test no it's time there we go all right so the last bit that we're going to do is the scrolling or the anim quote unquote animation so what we want to do is do hd create scroll and now what you want to do is you want to do the bracket animation um, and then there's there's an example in there so i'm not going to make one up for it but i'll show you guys that in a moment here hd scroll animation example so what that's going to do is create a uh, a line here and it's going to go on through line by line um, of the quote unquote animated text it's just scrolling through it all that and i'll go over that in a moment you can actually then make um, one hologram have multiple lines where it's going to scroll through different um, um, files so you could even just have like a, a solid line on the top and then you can have the second line be scrolling through everything as long as you use this animation bracket so that's really cool let's hop in to the configuration and um, we'll take a look at that okay so here we are we're actually live editing my <laughs> my uh, fan server but anyway um so here we see those those files that we implemented so the test one is the one with the with the uh the time and all that so let's go ahead and take a look at this so it says um the current time is keep in mind we can add those colors in there um and you can do you can do multiple colors per line which is really cool it's just it works the same thing way as any other colors in in uh, minecraft so the current time is and then this variable of time and then players online and then you got your variable of online and then max players we don't we're not running a bungee so i don't really show that and like i said if you make any changes in here if you want to add one more line um you can save it and then you can just run that read text command again. You don't need to reload the plug plugin or restart your server or anything like that. So it makes for editing some of these these holograms really easily. You just run that read text again. It's really neat. Very cool. Very well done. And then here's the symbols one. Um, I'm just going to show you that is that real quick. Keep in mind it's the bracket and then that character or bracket and then that character, and um, that's a vertical line. Yeah. So. The last bit to go over is animation. So if you want to do the animations or the scrolling text, that's in this animations folder. And then here is the example that they have, which it's it's a good example. So the speed up here is basically the seconds um, with a zero at the end of it. <laughs> so it's by 0.1. I think it's essentially like ticks, you know, 20, 20 ticks in Minecraft is one second. Now, nah, I don't even know don't don't listen to that I my math is terrible so if you wanted to speed this up you can do 10 and that's the fastest it can go so each line is gonna go every one second and then if you do 30 that would be three seconds so it's pretty much just the seconds with a zero at the end of it and you can modify all of this stuff and uh, change the colors and all that stuff you can put other variables in here of player online so if you wanted just a scrolling thing um, and that so once again it would if you made a change to this i think you'd have to do the read text again as well so let's go ahead and wrap up with some permissions we'll be right back okay so that's it we're back on the fan server you can see all these holograms and they rotate with them so there's there's a few other um options that I didn't go over the last one is you can fix the hologram all this does is it fix the lighting of it so it's always the same but it does require putting a glowstone block 16 above block it 16 blocks directly above it um so i don't really bother with that and uh shout out to jonah man uh he doesn't even knew so the only permission available with this one is holograms not admin and that's just that will give anybody access to do anything they want and um 
you know, you pretty much only would want your admins with that option. Anyway, so hopefully you guys found this helpful. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to check out the Jibbles for a link to this author's plugin as well as um, the variables that I went over. That's all I got for you guys. So this is Cos from McFriends reminding you guys all, enjoy the game. God bless. Anyway, probably okay. need a better clue than that. Maybe. Yeah, that's, that was a terrible clue. Yeah. <laughs> my, my stream just guessed the fast and the serious spell, <laughs> <laughs> spell like the iPhone.